So welcome guys. In this new video, we are going to see how we can create a custom directive. And the example we are going to see is how we can create a tooltip using directive. So this looks like kind of impossible because in a directive, we don't have an HTML. And a tooltip obviously is going to need some pop-up. And in that pop-up, we are going to show some text or any template, right? So it is possible using renderer methods. Okay. So in the previous video, we have seen like what is element ref and renderer to so with using those, we are going to create a custom directive, which is going to be responsible to show the tooltip, right? So let's see. Let's say if I have this first name, last name, and the six, uh, some particular input element, and you can see one icon is there. So on this icon, I should be able to see some tooltip, right? So for that, we are going to create a custom directive. So let's create a custom directive first. So this is the existing project, which uh, I'm following for all the videos. You can find it in a GitHub. So to create the uh, directive, we have just the normal command like ng generate directive. I'm just using the shortcut. Let's say my tooltip. Let's press enter. Now it will create a basic uh, two files like it, that is a directive file and its testing file. Let's just wait for one second. Yeah, so you can see two files are created and one file is updated because it will it will be added to my app module right now if we go to the tooltip directive so this is my file so you get the selector right so my selector is app my tooltip now here what we are going to need first we are going to need a host listeners right because once we over the mouse on that particular icon wherever we need the tooltip once we over the mouse on that particular element then only we need to show the tooltip and if we mouse out then we need to hide that tooltip after some time, right? So we need host listener. So let's create host listener. First, I will add that host listeners, right? So first host listener I will, I'm going to need is mouse over, right? So at the rate host listeners and the method will be mouse over. So this is the host listener I am creating. Now I have to create a method on that, on mouse over, right? So here what I have to do, first I have to create a method, one more method that will be on mouse out. So again, at the rate host listener, an event will be mouse out. And one method will be called out. Let's simply write the console so that it is working fine or not. So console.log mouse in. Then in second function, I'm going to print mouse out. Right. So this is one of the directive we have created. And in this directive, we have two host listener that is mouse over and mouse out. So let's use this directive on our employee form on that icons. So here it is like this and here it will be like this. So let's save and check if we get the console or not. Let's open the console. Let me just pause it. Now let's just clear the console. So we have added our directive on the first name icon and the last name icon. So let's see if we get the, once we hover the mouse, so you can see mouse in is printed. Once we remove the mouse, mouse out is printed. Again, so you can see on the same also here also, right? So our host listeners are working fine. Now we have to create a function in this directive to create a tooltip, right? So to create the tooltip, let's just create a function. Okay, before creating function, we need to create an uh, instance of element ref and the renderer too. So let's create that first. Element ref, it will be object of element ref. Okay, so once I select that, it will be added over here. Then second thing, private, Renderer, it will be renderer two. 
right? It is also added. So these are the two services we are going to need in the constructor. So this is nothing but dependency injection as you might already know this. Now we need to create a one function and we are going to need one input also, like what text we have to display in the tooltip, right? So for that, let's create an input. I input round bracket inside that, let's name it as a app tool tip. And it will be of our input name, tool tip contain and data type will be string only. Let's initialize with empty. Right. So what we have did in the constructor, we have created instance of element ref and the renderer, and we have created one more input. Now let's create a method that is create tooltip. Okay. So now here, what we need to do. So let I'm creating constant. First, we need to create a div, right? So using renderer, we can create a div. So tooltip. is equal to this dot renderer dot create element. So there are some methods which are provided by the renderer. So what we are going to create, simply do we, we have to create, right? Then again, we have to create a text, okay? And that we are going to attach into the uh, div we have created. Just like in JavaScript, we used to create elements and uh, append something into that element, just like that we are creating in the Angular. So that will be text now. This dot renderer dot create text. Okay, so you can see the method is already uh, present over there. And this dot tooltip content means whatever the input value we get from wherever we are using that we are uh, providing to the create text method. Now we have to use this dot renderer dot append child. So to append child, we have to provide the tooltip, means this is the div, parent div. So you can see in the append child, we have a parent and uh, another is the child. So div, this tooltip was our parent and second parameter will be our text. So this will go over here, right? So now we have our div and inside that div, we have pushed our text. Next thing, so we have to add some class also. So this dot, tooltip, sorry, this dot renderer dot add class, and we have to add one class. So we are going to create the class. So if you see here to the add class also, it needs element and the name of the class. So element will be tooltip only, and class will be, let's say, tooltip. my okay so i'm just i will create this class later to tip okay so what we have did, did till now we have created div we have created text and inside that div we have pushed the text then we have added the class to this particular element we have created using renderer then this dot renderer dot set style so we are attaching some style also this is my so you can see if i hover on the set style first uh, first uh, parameter is element then style and the value right so first is the tool tip then the uh, position will be sorry css will be position because wherever we hover on that particular uh, icon that pop up means tool tip should be visible over there only so we have to add absolute css absolute position Okay, next thing, we just have to return the tooltip. You can see this function is responsible to return the tooltip. Now, if you see this function is returning tooltip. So tooltip is nothing but type of the element, right? So for this method, we can provide the data type like HTML element, right? So because this function is going to return HTML element, so that's why we have just given the data type, return type for this method as a HTML element. Now, 
this function is go, uh, responsible to create a tooltip with whatever the input uh, value we get right so when the mouse over we have mouse over on that so we just need to call this method right so let's create constant my tool tip is equal to this dot create tooltip we are calling the method now whatever the html element we get it is in this constant now using this dot renderer dot append child so renderer will be the parent element wherever we are adding this directive so this is kind of a dom like parent to this because this directive we have attached in the employee component so renderer will be parent of the component dom okay so here this dot element ref dot native element and then we have to send the tooltip okay now let's get rid of this console let's let me just uh, copy paste that my tooltip css okay so i have just copy pasted let me copy paste in my style.css so you can see this is some simple css which is where we are going to need for that tooltip because it should be visible on the top of the screen and it should be open wherever we are showing that right so position absolute bottom 100% left 50% some basic css you can just uh, simply google this like css for the tooltip and you will get this css nothing fancy in that just uh, background color something is there let me change it to gray <coughs> and black comes to green okay so let's save and check now so now we have created the tooltip and we need we just we have an input so wherever we are using this tooltip so we need to send the value to this input also just like the reusable component is equal to double quotes and inside that single quote because the string value we are going to pass so this is demo text okay this is the message we are going to show for that tooltip so let's save and let's check let's see if it is compiled or not let's save it yeah it is compiled so if i hover on this so you can see this is demo text is coming okay so first part is completed but if i mouse over it is not getting it should be hidden once i uh, get away from that tooltip right so for that we had that second post listener so in that let's just add a set timeout so because once i just first sorry okay so uh, once we mouse uh, once we remove the mouse from that particular element so what we have to do we just have to remove that tooltip what we have attached so using renderer method and remove child method we need to just remove that so this dot element ref dot native element and second parameter will be okay so first we need to select that because we have created a div and attached inserted that div into our dom so first we need to select that div right so we can select that by using query selector so tool tip is equal to this dot element ref dot native element dot query selector this is same is in javascript also and we have to provide the class by using class we will select that so our class name is tool tip my okay so now sorry not here it should go over here using dot okay so now in this constant variable we will get that particular element this we have to pass it over here so let's save and check so if i mouse over so you can see tooltip is visible once i move out so you can see tooltip is gone away but it it doesn't look good see so once i mouse over it should be uh, tooltip should be visible for some time so let's just add a set timeout so this we have to wrap in a set timeout so let's add a set timeout of let's say 300 
milliseconds. Let's just copy this and put it over here. Let's remove the console as we don't need it now. Let's save and check. Is it saved or not? Okay. So on mouse over, you can see the tooltip, but um, mouse over, uh, out, you can see after up to 300 seconds, it was there. See, then it is getting hidden. So this is how we create a, uh, what we can say, custom directive and with HTML also. So whenever anyone asks you like, what is the custom directive and uh, you don't know, everyone will say like high, highlight directive and everything, but you can create any innovative or something like this also using custom directive. So this is the best example you can give when you know, even you are appearing for the interview. So you can create a tooltip also using directive. So if the interviewer doesn't know, like you can create HTML inside the directive also. So he will, he will be surprised, right? So using renderer two, and we have some method like create element, text node, everything we have. So what are, what are the things we used to do in JavaScript that those things, some of them, limited things are there in the renderer also, right? So when next someone is asking you, have you created a custom directive? So you can create this example and you can confidently tell them like, yes, in directive, we can create the HTML and I have created it with tooltip example. So that's it uh, in this video, guys. In next video, with this same topic, now, in this uh, tooltip, what we have done, we have just sent the text. What if I have to send the HTML also, right? I have some span, I have some labels and I have something else. So what if I can send the template, right? So in the next video, we are going to create a second directive, but where we can send template to the my directive, right? So we don't have to create the template there. Whatever the HTML part we have to show in the tooltip, we will send it. Let's say in some tooltip, I have to show some image or anything it can be right? So that we can pass it. So till then, thank you. Please do like and subscribe my videos.